Welcome back to another Game Creator tutorial. Today I'm going to go over the RPG template that was released as DLC recently. I'm going to go over some of the features as well as what to expect from it. It's actually a really cool template. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so if you don't know how to get DLC, you can go to the store page and scroll down and you'll see downloadable content for the software. It's going to be the Sword of Dreams. This is the RPG template. So you're going to download this and it's going to automatically download. Now when you go to the editor, which by the way, got a really nice upgrade in the latest version, you can see that the font is easier to read, the editor runs a whole lot smoother, stuff like this. But now in order to open that new DLC you downloaded, you go to new project and it's gonna show up right there automatically. So we're just gonna create this, I'll call this DLC for RPG uh, template. And we will let this load. And so we can see that this comes with one scene right here, but there's quite a bit going on. You have some shops right here. You have a chest opening event, NPCs, and then you have your battle system tests right here. And so that's what it has given you. And so we can quickly just play test this and see what we can do around the screen. First, it comes with its own title. I don't know if I've ever showed you, but the templates come with keyboard and controller rebindings. Now this will be another video, but I just wanted to make you aware of that. All right, so then if we start the game here, we can move around again with our mouse or with our, I'm using a wads right here, and we can talk around. This is a quest or not a quest, an NPC here. And you can see there's just some, uh, it's just a fishing thing. So showing an animation, some emotes. It's just kind of showing off more than the other templates here. Uh, we can go over to the shop here. And this one, I can't remember which one this is. So you can buy weapons or armor, and then it goes into a whole menu here. I'll get into where this is exactly happening in a bit, but you can go right here and this must be items. Yep, so items, buy or sell, stuff like this. And you, everything is mouse usable. I mean, you can use the mouse wheel to scroll. You can use the, click on this to drag. I mean, it. it's pretty cool. And so then the last thing, or actually let's go up here. I'll run over here and open this chest. It says the treasure chest is locked. Uh, it says some prop merchants will sell the key. Okay, so you'd have to buy the key. But anyway, kind of a little quest event right there to show you how. And then we can get to the battle system. So we can uh, battle this. If player's defeated, you know, you won't die or anything. And then it goes. And for right away, you just select battle or escape. I'm sure you can change this if you want, but this is just how this is showing it. So you have attack, you have skills, you have um, items, defense. This is your status, basically. And then automatic, you even have an automatic option. So I'll click automatic on him. Then for a uh, hurdle, it's just attack. You can use your mouse or you can use the uh, inputs to, to change who. We can use a skill. Let's just use a poison shot on this boar. And let's see what this person does. Oh, healer, white mage, I'll just defend. So here's the skill right there. It must be a three shot barrage. The cool thing is, is melee attacks, you can move too. You can see the enemies are all moving too. They have their own animation. I'm going to show you more about this in a second. I just wanted to show you like what it is actually doing right now. That, that's basically the, the gist of it right here. So now let's dive into what it actually is offering. How, how do we get this stuff, all right? And it's mostly going to be found in the database. The database is where most of these templates are going to have specific items for them. For instance, if you open up just the normal uh, Feather of Cyan, I believe it's called, it's only going to have world settings to um, item, I believe. So it will only have these. This RPG Maker template comes with actor to party. So you'll have all these different options, and that is what is allowing it to, to be more easy to have a battle system and stuff like this. So definitely recommended to use this RPG template if you're going for an RPG because it doesn't come with any of the other the other ones. So we can see that there's an actor. So this is kind of, if you've ever used RPG Maker, you can kind of understand what's going on here. I don't want to go into specifics exactly, just show you around. So you got your different characters. These are the four that you're picking from. And you can see, you know, you have just different options here. What class it is, um, some of the skills probably that it starts with, but you can also add them through runtime actions. You have the class setup, which you can specify all sorts of things. The skills setup, which I thought was really cool, how you can have, let's just take a look at cross chop, for instance. You can say what this targets, which is an enemy, 
and look, you have all these different, all enemies, all allies, multiple enemies. You can specify it's a melee attack. So if this is a melee attack, then it's going to move to the enemy. That's what's really cool about that. Um, you're going to just have, you know, normal calculations, whatever. But then you can get some other cool stuff. Like when you hit the target, this is the animation to play. Uh, hit the target animation in the menu. You can play something. Uh, actually, I was looking for, I think it was event settings. So you can actually play a common event when you're using the skill, when the target is hit, and then when you're done with the skill. So when you're, or release the skill, it says. So you can actually have a custom common event for three different times during that skill. Thought that was really cool. But yeah, these are kind of like modules. You can just click them and then they'll add some, some stuff here, passive state, and then you can do stuff like this. Uh, there's a special ability, which I'm not sure, I haven't... I haven't looked into all of these. I'm just kind of showing you that this is an overview, right? And so, yep. And then you can just drop them as you need. Now, as far as these tabs up here, this was a uh, this was saying monster side. They have these default ones, but a lot of them were NA. Sometimes it's important to, or it's good practice to view these in these templates because they'll have just different groups that that they have for their system and stuff like this. Yeah, we'll just do that. And so then we have equipment here. You can specify equipment uh, states. You can specify different states here. And you can even have event settings for those states when it's added, when it's removed. Uh, it can run a common event, basically. And then you just have your party. Let's see, it says party, but it look actually looks like it's the the background of the area or something like this. And maybe where you specify the enemies. And it looks like you can use a scene maybe. I don't know. This is stuff I haven't explored. I'm just showing you previewing. And let's see, you got an event settings here and stuff like this. That's really cool. What battle music to use. You can see they're changing the different battle musics there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, where you will actually change what the battle looks like during the battle is actually in the interface here. So right here. Uh, we go to down here. There's, this is going to be combat related stuff. So you're going to have your battle interface. You're gonna have your the selection menu when it would pop up at the character and you would select which one to do. You'd have your battle at the very beginning. So this is where you could maybe disable this, I don't know. Uh, your skill bar to uh, select your skills. And again, all this stuff will need to be explored in further detail. But one thing I did wanna point out is that this uh, red target right here, you'll notice that when you're adding an enemy, probably the easiest way to do is to, if you wanna add your own, is copy and and paste one if you wanted to add one. Down here, you can edit it from a wild boar to something else, right? And so the other thing to, to make sure that you do is put a move to helper point. This is where the enemy melee is going to move to to do the melee attack. So you can see that they're kind of off-centered from, from where it looks like they attack, so you might have to play around with that. But just remember, there's some of these different helper things to consider when you're adding them. Let's see, we have, I think I went through all of these. Yeah, there's just some really cool stuff you can do. You can, again, play with all these settings right here, add material, which is like a shader type stuff. They've got a pure, you can use events with them. I mean, this is so customizable compared to the RPG makers that like I've used anyway. And it's right out of the box. Like this is the DLC. They're going to continue to, you know, update this. So make sure that we're bug testing this during early access, get all the kinks out and, and make it as, as good as we can make it. Um, also, something that was interesting that I remember seeing on the Steam forums is someone was wondering if we're gonna be able to mix these templates. And in the Discord, one of the staff said that eventually, yes, they're gonna work on getting all the templates out because they want one for a strategy, action battle system like Zelda, stuff like this. And then once they're out, they will start to work on intermingling them. So you could have a action with an RPG elements, stuff like this. So hopefully this video was helpful, showed you just a flash image of what this DLC offers. And so yeah, any questions, comments below, Steam forums will get you figured out. With that said, I'll see you at the next video.